Hello and welcome to this video about the Return Request Process Automation for SAP Business One. A return request is when a customer asks to return a purchased product to the seller. This information is often sent through email and needs to be manually verified and entered in SAP Business One. The seller must confirm the return request and then notify the customer manually. This processing costs resources for the seller. The Return Request Process Automation automates the creation of a return request on the seller's side. The process is triggered using an API, which receives the return request data. The automation validates the incoming data and creates a return request. The processor on the seller's side just needs to confirm the return request via a task in their inbox. The automation will then send a notification email to the customer. This reduces manual effort and errors and improves overall work efficiency. Now let's take a look at the Return Request Process Automation in SAP Build Process Automation. In an SAP Build Process Automation tenant, you can get the Return Request Process Automation from the store. Then you can find it under All Projects in the lobby. First, you deploy the project so it's ready for production. Open the project by clicking on it. Once the project is open, Choose the Deploy button in the top right corner of the page. In the Deploy a Project Wizard, enter the environment variables necessary to run this project. Processor BTP User ID is the ID of the user on the seller's side that will work with this process. This user will receive the tasks in their inbox. Business One DB Name is the name of the SAP Business One database that you want to connect to. Windows Credentials Name is the name of the Windows credential that you keep locally on your machine, which saves the logon credentials to your SAP Business One database. For more information on setting up Windows generic credentials for your SAP Business One user, see the online help for SAP Business One on SAP Help Portal. Business One URL is the URL to your SAP Business One service layer, including the port. Processor full name and processor email address ask you for the name and email address of the processor. In the link to My Inbox, add the link that points to your My Inbox app. To get the link, go back to the SAP Build Process Automation tenant and in the top right corner of the page, choose the icon for the My Inbox app. When the My Inbox app opens in a new browser page, immediately copy the link. Back in the Variables screen, paste the link. Please make sure that the link ends in inbox.html. Choose Confirm and then Deploy. The project is now ready for productive use and can be triggered by an API. To trigger the process using an API, follow the instructions in our documentation. For the demo, we've prepared a simple web form that collects the return request information from the customer via, for example, a web shop. Note that the customer needs to be authenticated on the seller's side. Once the requester chooses the Submit button, the return request information is put together in the same format as we've seen previously, and then sent to the API endpoint to start the process. Once the process is deployed, it's ready to be started. On the Monitor tab, under Manage, choose Processes and Workflows. Here, you can find and open the Return Request Process Automation. If you want to test the deployed process without the external API, you can choose the Start New Instance button to trigger the process. In the dialog box, enter the JSON payload that would otherwise be sent through the API. For this demo, we've created a test case to insert here. In this test case, the customer wants to return item I00008 based on AR invoice number 1046. Once you've started the instance, switch to Monitor and Processes and Workflow Instances. Here, you can view the instance that was just created. Under Context, you can see all the variables associated with this process instance. Under Execution Log, you can see which steps the automation has performed so far. Once the return request has been created, or if there's an error, the processor is notified by email that a new task is waiting in their inbox. In Outlook, you can see that the processor has received a notification from the automation. The processor can click the link to open the My Inbox app. Here you can see a new task asking the processor to confirm this return request. 
The request can be directly confirmed in the task by choosing the Approve button. The return request is then automatically confirmed and a confirmation email is sent to the requester. The processor can also use the link to the return request provided in the task to open the return request document directly in Web Client for SAP Business One. The processor can also choose to reject the return request. After choosing the Reject button, the processor can add a rejection note directly in the task. A rejection notification is automatically sent to the customer. For this demo, let's say the processor decides to accept this request. Now, the processor can verify that the return request has been created in SAP Business One. On the Web Client for SAP Business One homepage, choose the Return Requests tile. Here you can see that a return request with document number 3 has been created. In the table on the Contents tab, you can see the item to be returned, and on the Logistics tab, you can see that the return request has been confirmed. In the Relationship map, you can see that this return request is based on the AR invoice 1046. In Outlook, you can see the email notification sent by the automation to the customer, indicating that the return request has been confirmed. This concludes our video on the Return Request Process Automation for SAP Business One. Thank you for watching.